Hi, this is Rob. I'm unboxing the new Barnes & Noble 8GB Nook tablet. On February 21st, 2012, Barnes & Noble announced the availability of a $199 8GB e-reader tablet to compete with the Amazon Kindle Fire. 8 gigabytes, 5 gigabytes for content, 2 gigabytes used for, by the operating system, which is a modified version of Android 2.3 gingerbread, and 1 gigabyte reserved for Nook store content. I ordered this Nook directly from Barnes & Noble. Inside the shipping box is my packing slip and the Nook. The 8GB Nook has a 1GHz dual core processor, 512MB of RAM. When fully charged, you get 11.5 hours of reading time or 9 hours of video playback. Inside the Nook box is the Nook, which is 8.1 inches high, 5 inches in width, and a little less than a half an inch in depth. It weighs less than a pound at 14.1 ounces. You get a quick start guide. The full user's guide is in the library on the Nook, where you can go to nook.com slash tablets taps slash support to download a PDF version of the complete user's guide to your computer. Some silica gel says, dangerous, do not eat. In this lower compartment is the USB cable and the power adapter. The USB cable is about three feet long. It's best to charge the Nook with a power adapter. It takes about three hours of charging time when charging up the Nook with the power adapter. There's the plastic cover. Take it off and discard it. The screen is a 7-inch multi-touch vivid view screen with 1024 by 600 resolution. This is the power button. Press and hold for 5 seconds to turn it on or press and hold for 5 seconds to completely shut down. This is a microphone, useful for recording when using the Nook Book Kids feature. A 35mm stereo headphone jack. These are the buttons for the volume control. This is the charging port. This is the multi-function Nook button. When you first use your Nook, tab the Nook button and you have the option to view a introduction video. This is the micro SD card slot. You can use a micro SD or micro SDHC card up to 32 gigabytes. The micro SD cards will hold about 1,000 Nook books per gigabyte. The steps to set up the Nook is, number one, accept the terms of service. Number two, set your time zone. Number three, connect to a Wi-Fi network. Number four, register your Nook to a Barnes & Noble account. If you don't have an account, you can create one during the registration process. Number five, then you need to register a credit card to that account. That's it to get started. So far, I like the new Nook. I like the look, I like the feel, I like the lightweight, and I like the micro SD card slot. Please subscribe to my channel to see more videos about the new 8GB Barnes & Noble Nook.